Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in. We are looking at a chart of CKB Nervous Network. We are looking at a two-hour chart, 4.20, 3.20 p.m. Central Time. Let's go. So we are looking at CKB and the recent devastation that has unfolded on this thing. And we can really see how uh, maybe the end is near. We can demonstrate through basic Elliott wave theory that we may possibly have had a corrective wave here. And now we went into somewhat of an ascending triangle, which seems to be uh, you know, it looks like it got rejected a few times. More buyers, more buyers, more buyers stepped in. And we were able to get back up and over this 50% line. What I'm also seeing, folks, this is important to note, is I'll let you take a peek at this chart. What, what do you see that could be of any importance whatsoever? We are seeing what could be an inverse head and shoulders. Now, like I've said in previous videos, we think of a, you know, an inverse head and shoulders maybe being this. Gosh, that looks like, that looks freaking bad. We'll just pretend this is the Dogecoin dog's nose for a second. Get your sick minds out of the gutter. We, we almost picture these inverse head and shoulders as some equal you know shoulders you know this is the the textbook head and shoulders it's nice uh and and all formed nice and evenly i think that's what a lot of people think when you start seeing some of these formations and things like that but one thing that you want to remember is uh, we have an important line creeping down here, and that's the 50 moving average. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this possible inverse head and shoulders come up and check this 50 moving average and then pull that average back down a little bit more. And who knows, maybe from there we would see an ascending triangle and possibly have this 50 kind of do one of these. This is wild speculation. This is not trading advice, folks, uh, you know, whatsoever. But if that happened, uh, you can kind of see my point. Uh, this is, we're trying to forward think uh, and, and see, uh, you know, what sounds reasonable for potential, um, you know, future movements that's so huge being able to do that um you know with that said it may be a good idea if you want to try to day trade this you know once we come up and possibly hit i'm just guessing around the 26 and a half cent line there may be a sell-off and you may be able to buy back in at around the the point two three ish level three four two four level uh, so I'm not saying to day trade i'm just saying there might be a little bit of an opportunity especially if we get some some high wicks to uh, 0.027 or something like that um, when can we expect something like this to maybe happen that's a great question uh, bear with me one second folks well i kind of crunch a little fib uh, well, mm, man, that is a good question. We are going to go off this line here. We may see a little bit of a breakout or even a potential reversal here. Um, never know. And that would be at about 9 p.m. Central could happen. I'm not really digging some of these short-term Fibonacci time zone so we just may not know as uh it's it's just with the the current volatility uh, 
we may not uh, have any clue. So with that said, folks, that's really all I have right now for CKB. I wanted to drop this update just so you could see what I'm thinking. Full disclosure, you know, this is not trading advice or anything like that. Uh, I'm not a perfect trader by any means, uh, but I did pick up about 80,000 CKB shares right in here. Uh, so uh, that's not, I'm not telling you to, to do the same by any means. This is what we could be seeing right now uh, at this time. I'm hoping this is an inverse uh, cup and, or inverse head and shoulders. Uh, RSI is in the tank at 45, so there's lots of room to maybe move up and nail that. Uh, I, I, and kind of don't be alarmed. I, I think if this thing moves down to this uh, 0.023 level, be alarmed if it drops lower than that, though, in my opinion. You may want to keep a closer eye on it. So I wish everybody the best. I hope this video finds you well, and I hope all your trades are going good. Uh, let's, let's, let's hope that this is uh, possibly the end of uh, what was a very bad uh, really last 20 days uh, you know I think I speak for everyone that really likes CKB as uh, a, a crypto the fundamentals the everything that they bring to the table is just uh, you know phenomenal and it's really tough to sit back and support, uh, you know, this is not their fault. It's tough to sit back and, and support the, the movement, uh, you know, through our wallets. And, uh, you know, with that said, uh, you know, seeing all this red, it's tough. I, 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 I get it. But that's all I got for you guys, folks. Be safe. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about CKB. Where do you think CKB is going to go in the next week? Uh, let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, drop a like and uh, subscribe. See you guys.